The Sahara, one of the most challenging areas on Earth, is well known for its vast dune fields. The desert is a fascinating and stunning location that demands discovery. As new methods and technologies are developed in a scientific community, more secrets are being uncovered under the barren sand. Some of these revelations are horrifying and have the potential to rewrite the trajectory of human history fundamentally. In today's video, we'll let you know the terrifying findings of the Sahara Desert. The largest hot desert, and the third largest desert on Earth, is the Sahara Desert, after the icy deserts of Antarctica and the Arctic. With 3.6 million square miles, 9.4 million square kilometers, or roughly the extent of the continent of Africa, the Sahara Desert is one of the harshest places on Earth. Its size is comparable to that of the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii. The vast desert spans 10 countries, Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, and Tunisia. It runs from the Red Sea in the east towards the Atlantic Ocean in the west, and from the Mediterranean Sea in the north to the Sahel in the south. The desert is notable for its immense dunes, rocky plateaus, and severe temperatures. The desert endures temperatures that may go up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Celsius, during the day, and dip as low as 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, at night. The desert is arguably the least populous location due to a lack of rainfall, with an average of just 7.6 centimeters each year. Despite the severe dry conditions of the Sahara, the area is home to numerous plant and animal species. According to the World Wildlife Fund, the Sahara is a habitat of 500 plant species, 70 animal species, 90 bird species, 100 reptile species, and countless kinds of spiders, scorpions, and other tiny anthropods. Several human civilizations have also lived in the desert throughout the millennia, and their way of life is based on oases and commerce. Famous Saharan societies include the ancient Egyptian, Libyan, Berber, and Tuareg. The Saharan Desert was also crucial in trans-Saharan commerce routes. The primary products that moved through the desert were salt, gold, and enslaved people. These trade routes were critical in linking the Mediterranean world with sub-Saharan Africa and played an essential role in economic and cultural contact between these areas. Throughout the years, numerous significant discoveries have been made in the Sahara Desert. Still, they have also called into question everything we previously believed to be true about the area. Let's get started on a few of these. The Ancient Mega Lake. The Ancient Mega Lake was uncovered under the desert. You may want to know how a lake ended up under a desert. And we've got the whole tale right here. Around 250,000 years ago, the Nile River forced its way through a constricting channel near Wadi Tushka, flooding the eastern Sahara and creating a lake that, at its peak, covered more than 42,000 square miles. When looking at radar photographs of Egypt taken by the Space Shuttle Radar Topography Mission, geologists Ted Maxwell and his National Air and Space Museum colleagues recently uncovered evidence of the lake. Using photos of windblown sediments, sediments created by flowing water, and bedrock identified by radar under the desert sands, the geologists put together the shape of an ancient megalith. It is simpler for radar to identify unique underlying structures in Egypt because of its dry climate. The location of an oasis along one of the ancient water courses was also determined by geologists using data from the topographic mission of the space shuttle. There is now 6.5 to 9.5 feet of water below the surface. This oasis was recently prepared for melon growing. Up to 50 feet below the surface of the desert are buried streams. Using fossil fish found in deposits roughly 250 miles west of the Nile and at 810 feet above sea level as a marker of the lake's maximum coastline, scientists think 
that the Nile once inundated the whole Kasiba Tushka Valley of Egypt, producing the vast lake. Paleolithic villages at Salima and Tarfawi in Egypt were found to correlate to a lake with a surface size of around 42,000 square miles, putting these communities in what would have been advantageous near water settings. A second lower lake level with a surface size of approximately 18,600 square miles may have existed at 623 feet above sea level according to a distinct cluster of archaeological sites near Bir Kaseba, 93 miles to the west of the Nile. The geologists used the height of the Tushka Canal, which formerly brought Nile water into the desert, to determine the size of the second lake. These new lakes add to a growing body of data pointing to several early and middle Pleistocene lakes in North Africa that may have provided a platform for human migration patterns the chunk of protoplanet. Scientists discovered a chunk of protoplanet older than the Earth in the Sahara Desert. In the spring of 2020, an extremely rare remnant of embryonic planet was found in a remote section of the Sahara Desert before Earth was created. This meteorite, Erg Chech 002, EC002, developed beneath the crust of a long-gone protoplanet a small astronomical object that serves as a building component for planets. The volcanic space rock, the oldest known lava to have ever fallen to Earth, gives an unparalleled view into planetary formation in the early solar system. Scientists from France's University of Western Brittany took the opportunity to explore this massive time capsule from the early solar system. It belongs to the Andesitic family of volcanic rocks, and is unlike anything else. Jean-Ali Barat, the geochemist at the University of West Brittany who conducted the research, remarked that this is arguably the most stunning new meteorite he has ever seen in his more than 20 years of studying meteorites. After acquiring meteorite samples, Barat and his colleagues established when this portion of protoplanet crust, partly melted as lava, solidified into a solid form. According to the research, the rock was dated by magnesium and aluminum isotope analysis to be around 4,566 billion years old, making it the oldest known slice of an igneous crust ever unearthed. For example, EC002 is approximately 1.24 million years younger than the next oldest igneous meteorite, NWA11119 although Earth's genesis occurred several million years after these rocks were formed. The Strange Ancient Crocodiles Let us now discuss the strange ancient crocodiles that swarmed the Sahara and were almost the size of a bus. Paleontologists investigating Tunisia discovered the world's most enormous sea-dwelling crocodile previously unknown to science. This ancient crocodile is reportedly more than 30 feet long and weighs three tons. The skull is more than five feet long. Researchers named the newly discovered species Meshimosaurus rex. The crocodile was characterized as huge by lead author Federico Fanti from the University of Bologna. It's massive. He went on to say that it's nearly as large as a bus. Fanti and his colleagues found the fossils buried under a few inches of dirt on the edge of the Sahara Desert, Tunisia, a nation rich in fossils, with the assistance of the National Geographic Society Committee of Research and Exploration. This area was most likely a lagoon facing the ocean. Researchers also uncovered fish and turtle remains, which they are presently attempting to identify. According to Fanti, M. rex might have hunted in the water and been an ambush predator or scavenger. According to Fanti, comparing M. rex to other crocodiles with big heads and small teeth shows that M. rex had a very extremely tremendous biting force that enabled it to shatter its meal. Turtles, for example, would have made a delicious meal. The M. rex joins three other crocodile species discovered by another scientist in the Sahara. 
crocs with snouts and other characteristics similar to modern-day animals spawned nicknames, such as Super Croc, which weighed eight tons, Boar Croc, Pancake Croc, Rat Croc, Dog Croc, and Duck Croc. This finding is remarkable for reasons other than its size. It doubts previous beliefs about ancient life. The crocodile group of Emrex was assumed to have gone extinct approximately 150 million years after the Jurassic period. Nevertheless, this Emrex thrived around 130 million years ago. Prepare to be astonished by the subsequent discovery. It is the most terrifying. Fossil of a four-legged whale. In the Sahara Desert of Egypt, a group of researchers headed by Egyptians unearthed a fossil that dated back 43 million years and belonged to a four-legged amphibious whale that has since been extinct. It's right. You did hear that right. A whale with legs. The authors of the research state that this creature's skull exhibited special features, and their interpretation of the creature's mandible shows a tendency for more efficient oral mechanical processing. In other words, these wandering whales had a raptorial feeding mode. One of the experts, Abdullah Gohar, said they discovered how savagely and lethally its huge fangs can rend various animals. Most animals in its immediate area considered this whale a god of death. It weighed roughly 600 kilos and had a length of nearly three meters. The researchers decided to honor Anubis, the Egyptian deity of mummification and the afterlife, by giving the new species of whale they discovered the name, Theomycetus Anubis. It is quite probable that it was a top predator at the time, much as a killer whale is a top predator now. This particular species existed 43 million years ago and is considered an ancestor of the modern whale. Although it is not the first fossil of a walking whale to be discovered, it is regarded to be among the oldest fossils found in the Fayum Depression region. It resulted in a semi-aquatic lifestyle, spending time on land and water. This is the first time in Egyptian vertebrate paleontology history that an Egyptian team is leading documentation of a new genus and species of four-legged whale that lived here in Egypt 43 million years ago, claims Hasham Salam, professor of paleontology at Masora University and American University in Cairo. These are some instances, but the Sahara Desert is responsible for discovering many more significant things. That's all for now. We'll come up with another video with astonishing discoveries made by scientists. Till then, stay healthy.